Good morning. I'm Sid Haynes, the leader at Minneapolis Northwest Tourism. Um, we draw guests into Brooklyn Center and Brooklyn Park. Visitors enjoy the culturally diverse food in our area, our relaxing green spaces, and the mighty Mississippi River. Thank you for being here this, for this big kickoff announcement that the Gus Macker Tournament is back in town this summer, August 17th and 18th. <laughs> Gus Macker is one of the longest running family friendly basketball tournaments around with a legacy of creating community based events since its humble beginning 50 years ago on the childhood driveway of Scott McNeil aka Gus Macker in Lowell, Michigan when 18 of his best buddies threw a buck each into a jar during March Madness and vigorously competed in teams for the entire enormous $18 purse. The tournament has since grown into a 78 city event across the US over the past 50 years involving more than a half million players and 1.5 million spectators enjoying friendly competition, special events, and family fun. The tournament has a storied past here in the Twin Cities as well. It was held in St. Paul, from 1998 to 2007. It popped up in Rochester in 2014 and popped back up in St. Paul in 2019. If you're in a room with others over the age of 25 and ask, who is Gus Macker? Someone will gush about their experience playing with their friends in this unique tournament. Macker alum are everywhere and I challenge you, I challenge you for an entire day asking that question, who is Gus Macker? Just wait and see how many alums players light up at that mention. <laughs> However, the tournament isn't about, it's about more than memories and basketball and family fun, it is about the community. And this citywide event will be a reflection of the diversity of cultures, ages, abilities, and passion for sports found across the Twin Cities. The most recognizable part of Gus Macker Tournament is our mascot, and I'd like to introduce you to him now, Mackerman. <laughs> Mackerman's been seen all over the city at basketball games, festivals, and schools, and not, some not so obvious places, like at the farmer's market, or walking in a parade, or enjoying our city parks. You are a busy guy. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Backer Man. Woo! We've asked some guests to join us today, and with Macker Man's help, I'd like to introduce them to you. First of all, Rolanda Garcia, president of our host location for the tournament, North Hennepin Community College here in Brooklyn Park. <laughs> Jen Dirdal Johnson who is the Operations Director of Twin Cities Gus Macker 2024. <laughs> Matt Oquist, Director of Community Engagement for one of our sponsor organizations, Luther Auto Group. <laughs> Unique to Gus Macker and to the supportive spirit of who we are at the tournament, we are here to raise funds for area nonprofits. We will be sharing proceeds of this year with six Twin Cities nonprofit organizations who have demonstrated an ongoing passion for youth and basketball. Let me introduce some of them to you. Cindy Hill, co-founder of the Chill Foundation. <laughs> DeRay Ward, founder of Forward Thinking Foundation. <laughs> Sandy Richmond, director of community engagement and recruitment at Big Brothers Big Sisters Twin Cities. And some other guests in our audience, Ambrose Russell, Executive Director of the Inner Hero. <laughs> and to you, Tuayana Bala, who's the representative of Hawa's Wings. <laughs> and our last recipient organization is the Brooklyn Park Athletic Association. <laughs> we are thrilled to be partnering now with our host location, North Hennepin Community College. Good morning. Thank you, Sid. 
Hola y bienvenidos. It is my pleasure on behalf of North Hennepin Community College to welcome you to our lovely campus. And it is an honor to be able to work to host this tournament on this lovely uh, college campus. Um, it, it is great to be able to serve the community in the way that we do. In the, founding, in the words of our founding president here at North Hennepin, North Hennepin is in and of the community, and that's something that we try and live by each and every day. And so when the opportunity came up, coach, I said, absolutely, let's do this. Um, you may not know this, but I used to play basketball, and I did play in a three-on-three -three tournament when I was an undergrad. So I am looking forward to be able to host this, to bring together the community so we can have fr friends, family, and fun. Thank you very much, and we are happy to be here. Thank you, President Garcia. North Hennepin has been a wonderful partner as the host location for the 2024 tournament. I have some logistics to share. Registration is now open for all players at mplsnw.com and linktree slash TC Gus Macker. Registration is $200 per team for players of four. Teams are matched in male and female divisions of junior, adult, and top players. Height, age, and experience for all four players will be configured in all the computer-generated bracketing process. Players can be as young as eight and as old as 80 or above. That may be a slim bracket, but exciting to watch. We encourage older players to join in the fun, especially since this is the 50th anniversary. And we really want to welcome female players. We know we have a great, diverse female population of basketball players in the metro area, and we encourage them to play, and we would like to break the national record of female teams. Only 20% are females that play in Gus Macker tournament. Each team will receive at least three scheduled games for the tournament, and each team member receives a t-shirt. The top winning team members in each bracket take home a gold or silver trophy. Those who find themselves without a win after the first game, after, I'm sorry, the second game, will compete for the coveted toilet bowl trophy. And finally, we will have certified refs on each court for each game to ensure healthy competition, good sportsmanship, and fun. You can visit linktree slash TC Gus Macker for more information. Good morning. I am extremely excited to be a part of the Twin City Gus Macker Committee. Gus Macker is a family-filled place for everyone to play or either to watch or participate in the games by supporting those that are on the court. This is a community event with community activities for everyone. There will be music, food, and kids activities we are very excited to have this one-of-a-kind event here in our great city. Alumni from across the country will be converting here for the newest national tournament in the Twin Cities area. Very proud of that. There will be a special alumni get-together on Friday night. We're hoping that the alumni that you may know of, please spread the word and let them know. But also, have them visit linktree slash TC Gus Macker for information and invitation. For many years, there have been teams that have traveled all over the country. A lot of people have made this their summer vacation spots to do, to be in these tournaments. Minnesota, we already here have teams that are already registered from outside of the state. We're ready for them to come. Basketball is a common sport that everybody sometime in their life have played. There are organized youth basketball programs that have made an impact on the youth across the Twin Cities area. Basketball may be the reason to bring you to our organizations, but they are also learning life skills by playing the game. Team bonding, conflict resolution skills, team management skills, being accountable for your actions, and learning how to be compassionate with others. You best believe that there are many players who have laced up their sneakers and played in the Gus Macker tournament, 
who are now have the opportunities to enter the NBA, the NBA, excuse me, the WNBA, the NBA, and overseas where they have been able to fulfill their dreams. This is where dreams begin. So we are excited and we want everyone, form your teams, get ready now, registration is open. We want to show them the Minnesota nice. We are ready, we are ready, we are ready. Let's have fun. It's an experience that everybody needs to be a part of. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Cindy. Cindy mentioned some of the greater lessons learned through youth sports. As uh, Luther Automotive, we've been a community member and a longtime supporter of youth sports in Brooklyn Center and throughout the Twin Cities. And we are glad to sponsor, we're pleased to sponsor this year's Gus Macker tournament. She also mentioned the alumni. So for you others that are interested in sponsoring, those alumni often still have the shirts with the sponsor logos on them years and years later. There's a great opportunity for other businesses to come alongside us and get together with the Gus Macker tournament to support the values that youth sports creates throughout the Twin Cities. So we would encourage you to go to our website, linktree slash TC Gus Macker. Look at those opportunities. Not only shirts, but as the trophies you see here, there's logos on the trophies. A great way to give your logo a lasting memory with partnering with youth sports or adults who are playing in our tournament. Um, and let me mention just a couple of groups that have already joined in so that you know who you're going to be included with. There's obviously Luther Auto, Top Golf, High V, Programming Solutions Inc., Minneapolis Farmers Market, Elevation Beauty Salon, Pro Provider Urban Clothing, and Jet Pizza. So join us, go to that website, check out the other opportunities. In addition to just regular sponsorships, we also have a lot of special events going on. So I'm going to introduce DeRay who can tell you more about them. Okay, a little taller than you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, good morning. I am DeRay Ward, uh, also known as Coach Ward. I'm the founder of Forward Thinking Foundation. Uh, we are a youth nonprofit organization who uses sports as a vehicle to teach uh, the youth life skills as well as develop their basketball skills and IQ. Um, I am excited to be the lead coordinator of the uh, Special Events Court. Um, this is one of the highlights of the uh, Gus Macker. Um, people love it. Uh, it's exciting. It's fun. It brings uh, people from all different ages, ethnicities um, together um, because of the game of basketball. Um, certain things that would be on the court, uh, we have the mascot game featuring our, our very own Gus, Gus Macker, you know, <laughs> the Macker man. Um, uh, we have the celebrity game. We have coaches tournament, uh, um, hero tournament, um, as well as three point and free throw contests. And then the highlight will be the dunk contest, which the winner will receive a $500 reward. Um, so the special events uh, is always something to bring the spectators together. And this year is the 50th anniversary, and we will be doing something so spectacular, uh, even involving a game called the Macrum, which is similar to the horse, which will get the spectators involved and everyone of every uh, different age is involved. So, thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sandy Richmond, and I bring you greetings from Big Brothers Big Sisters Twin Cities, which is the largest youth mentoring organization right here in the greater Twin Cities. So excited to advocate for volunteerism for the Gus Macker Tournament. Can't wait for it. And so excited that it'll be right here in Brooklyn Park. It's going to be a great reason to get outside, get involved, play some basketball, and volunteer. There are a lot of volunteer opportunities for the tournament. And if you're looking for something to do, there will be opportunities to be a scorekeeper, help out with setup, registration, and teardown. Don't forget to check out Linktree slash TC Gus Macker to learn more. And while you're at their event, don't forget to check out the Big Brothers Big Sisters table and find out additional ways to be bigs for Twin Cities youth. See you soon. Thank you, Sandy. Now I'd like to introduce our final guest, a Gus Macker alum, 
1998 Minnesota Miss Basketball. She was named the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year in 2001. She's an inductee to the Wisconsin Athletic Hall of Fame, a six-year WNBA vet, assistant coach for the Boston Celtics 2022 Summer League season, and present head coach of the men's basketball program at Misabi Range College, and our good friend, Tamara Moore. I want to say thank you to Gus Macker. Um, all of the accolades that you heard just now, running down all the kind of the things that I was able to accomplish in the future, there had to be a start. And obviously for us young youth, Gus Macker was the start. Um, my team was named the Fab Four. Of course, I had an opportunity to play from, with some of my, my younger players, my younger teammates. Um, we actually won four straight championships from 95 to 98. It was always, thank you, thank you. Um, for me, it was always something for us to, to really put into. It wasn't just about the basketball, it was about the styling, it was about the community, it was about playing outside. Every year we did a different theme, we did, um, some of the themes that we did were army fatigue one year, we would do, um, we did tie dye one year. It was just something fun for the community. Um, for me, there always was an opportunity for us to make it to that top women's court, and for me, the top women's court was the WNBA. So getting a chance to be able to start and hone my skills in the Gus Macker was awesome. Um, just looking at also what I'm able to be involved in, now I get to be involved in the back end of helping put this event back on. It's the 50th anniversary and I'm so excited. I just realized I was not born yet, but it had came six years after I was born. But now being able to be a part of the back side of it and bringing it back is exciting and I'm so excited to work with Gus Macker and I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Tamara. She is going to be one of our radio announcers during the game, and she'll be with us throughout, so thank you for that. Gus Macker Hoopers, as Cindy mentioned, come from all over the Twin Cities, and there are teams that spend their entire summer traveling from state to state playing in Gus Macker tournaments. We have room blocks set aside for our visitors, and we look forward to greeting old acquaintances and making new friends in August. At the tournament, you can expect food trucks, entertainment, Instagram-worthy stations, and photo ops with Mackerman, of course. And you know, we play, it's a little rainy today for the press conference, but we play in the sunshine and we play through the rain. It's almost like a badge of honor to play through the rain. At the height of Gus Macker events in Minnesota, the tournament hosted nearly 500 teams. That's 2,000 players together in a single weekend plus the spectators. During the comeback year, we have space for only 200 teams, and we expect more than 4,000 spectators at least. The registration deadline is six short weeks away on July 29th. Team registrations have already come in. I wanna let you know, they've come in from St. Paul, Columbia Heights, Lino Lakes, Minneapolis, Lexington, Blaine, Bayport, Stillwater, Chisago City, Rochester, Red Wing, Belding, Michigan, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So let's welcome those visitors as they come. Everybody remembers their first Gus Macker. And I encourage you to grab one of these limited opportunities to rule the court, or just come have fun and root for your besties, or even for the underdog you didn't notice until that crucial moment in the game while you were watching. A shout out to our earliest partners, North Hennepin Community College, the City of Brooklyn Park, the City of Brooklyn Center, and Power 104.7 Radio. Registration in info again can be found at linktree slash tcgusmacker. Um, please visit the TC Gus Macker Facebook and Instagram pages to follow the adventures of Mackerman and share the news of the tournament's return with your friends. And keep a lookout for Mackerman sightings throughout the metro area. You just never know what mischief this little guy gets into when you're least expecting it. <clears throat> and now, on behalf of the presenting organization, Minneapolis Northwest Tourism, and the 2024 Gus Macker Tournament Committee, I thank you for joining us this morning. I invite you to lace up your shoes, 
work your jump shots, and please welcome the tournament's return to the Twin Cities during this 50th year anniversary of one of the longest running, family-friendly, community-focused, three-on-three basketball tournament in the country. Gus Macker is back. <laughs> See you in August.